Greetings people of YouTube, it is I, Warsaw Matt, with week two of Star Wars here. Yes, one week down, 51 to go. Ha, ah, we'll get through it in that time. Okay, uh, this one is the Star Wars tag video. Um, I I saw this, uh, a friend of mine uh, called, um, called Amber, Amber Ladbrook, uh, her YouTube channel is The Girl With The Grey Eyes. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below, go check her out, her videos are awesome, she's brilliant. Uh, and she did this Star Wars tag video. And I just thought, yes, something different, because you don't want to hear me bang on all the time about books. I mean, we all read books, so there's, there's going to be another one this week. Um, but I thought we'd do something a bit different. So here we go, the Star Wars tag video. Okay, favourite film. Um, I'm going to stick my neck out and I'm going to say... Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Why why I hear you cry? Why is it not Empire? Why is it not Jedi? I tell you, A New Hope is the one that made me a Star Wars fan. Because I'm of that generation that watched Star Wars on VHS. Yeah, they, was, they didn't have many cinema re-releases. <clears throat> and like I say, I, as soon as as soon as I saw A New Hope you know, part of my nerdy little mind was changed forever. You know, I knew that one half of my, my life and my soul belonged to Doctor Who, and the other one probably belonged to Star Wars. So, and it's, it's the blueprint for absolutely everything that came from it. It was that seed, it grew from there. And I absolutely adore it. I will watch it time and time and time. I'll probably watch this um, A New Hope a lot more than I've watched the other Star Wars films. And that includes the special edition, the re release special edition, the special special edition, and every other way that George Lucas can monkey around with it, even putting a, an artificial rock in front of R2D2 because that somehow advances the story better. But anyway, the favourite Jedi. Hmm. Curious this one is. Difficult question it is. Much sense I will not make. <laughs> yes, I love Yoda. Uh, when we saw Empire, he was... This is the thing, I always got off the characters that are slightly askew. I mean, I never loved Jar Jar Binks, he was, far, he was too askew. But Yoda, as a kid, I grew up watching the Muppets. So, a, a Jedi Muppet... <laughs> Can you imagine? Even now, that just sounds like the, the best thing ever, you know, and he's adorable, and he's a, I like him better in his actual puppet form rather than his CGI counterpart. I mean, I know they did some wonderful work with his CGI self, but as an actual as an actual being made out of rubber and latex and Frank Gold doing the voice there was, there was something that a little kid can really get hold of and really uh, you know, you, you can actually, you, you look at him and this, this is a six year old, you know, best friend. You know, this is the kind of a, you know, this is the kind of character that kids wish they were best friends with, you know. So I always, I always loved Jodor, um, I adore him, and like I say, he's the, he, yeah, I'll show you, and like I say, you've all seen him before, but absolute, absolutely adore him. And I do wish they'd actually kept him, um, as a as a physical puppet, I mean the work that they can do with puppetry these days, it's absolutely incredible. So, so uh, yeah, I I love Yoda. I much prefer him as a sorry, as a uh, as a physical puppet, and I think he's amazing. So, go Yoda team. See what I did there. Favorite Sith. Um, this is a difficult one simply because all the Sith characters, one way or another, they all end up dead. So it's it's really a question of which one do you prefer out of all of them? Um, the, you know, which one lived the longest? I'm drawn on a very, a very deep pool of Sith because, because of the expanded universe that we've been introduced to a lot of Sith Lords. Um, I'm not going to say Darth Vader. Simply because, you know, he was a, you know, he was a, you know, he was, he was the top bad guy. Well, I wouldn't say he was my ultra favourite Sith. My ultra favourite Sith is from the New Republic. Um, 
prequel uh, game novel series. And I'm going to stick my neck out and say Darth Margus. Because we all saw the Deceived trailer, with, you know, we read Deceived and everything else like that. And I just thought he was so cool. I mean, Darth Plagueis was a calculating, you know, he was, he was, he was interested in power. Palpatine, we all know that story, but he was a bit too... He was a bit too pantomime for my liking. But Malgus seemed to just strike the balance absolutely perfectly. He's got everything we love about Darth Vader. He's got his own nuances. He's got his own, you know, deep drive. And plus the fact his costume, his outfit, is so cool. Oh, just, oh my goddess, it is awesome. So yes, Old Republic, uh, Darth Malgus. Favourite scene? Um... I would stick my neck out again, I'd say it's from episode 3, and it's that scene when Palpatine and Anakin are talking about Darth Plagueis, because that's to me at the time, because I'm so wrapped up in Doctor Who and you know, Star Trek and everything else, um, it's, it sort of opened up the expanded universe, because I heard, about, I heard that, and then I saw the book for Darth Plagueis, and then that was it. It was like the door is open. Welcome to the greatest body of fan fiction in the known universe. Uh, so yeah, that's my favorite. That's my favorite scene. That's a good one. And also is when Darth Vader dies. Very poignant. Very, very deep. It's a very subtle. Very simple scene. Um, but yeah, I'd like to say that they, that was or they are my favorite scenes. How long have I been a fan? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I've probably been a fan as long as I've been a Doctor Who fan. And I was born in 84. I started watching in 80... I remember Trial of the Time Lord, so I, probably, I remember 86. So I was two then. And that's probably when the VHS came out. So I'm... Roughly calculated about 28 years, which you know, that's nearly my entire life. Give or take, you know, it's two years. That's baby to toddler, you know. And even then, <laughs> if you see something on the TV, I'd get probably I'd get very excited and you know, go mad. But when you're two years old, I think that's when you, that's when the, the human mind really latches onto something. And when you latch onto Doctor Who and Star Wars in the way that I did, and it never lets go. And I can't imagine for a second that it's ever going to let go. I am going to do this until the day I die. Uh, so yeah, about 28 years, which is a long time. That is a long time. Oh, Favourite lightsaber. Rather speaks for itself, doesn't it? Favourite droid? R2-D2, man. He's badass! You know, he's, it's a shame that he doesn't actually speak a word of English. Because I think he would have all the best lines. Um, good. Because <laughs> uh, I, I watch an awful lot of YouTube videos, so people put the, the voices over R2-D2. And I can always imagine him, I don't know why, but I can always imagine him saying like a disgruntled Yorkshireman. You know, he's been through so much. Yeah, and you know, when they land on Dagobah and he's in the swamp and he pulls himself, you know, then Luke pulls him out. Oh, no, no, he, he didn't pull him out, he was shot out and he landed. And Luke stays says, you're alright? And I can just imagine he says, oh, oh chuffing marvellous, mate. You'll go for swimming to bog, oh, that's bloody marvellous, that is. You know, and it's just something like that. I can imagine him saying that. Yeah, he starts off at, you know, apparently the... The whole premise of R2 D2 was that he was a toddler. But he can't stay a toddler forever. And I just think he would just grow up. And just just be very very world weary and just, just like, oh he doesn't want to know anymore. He just wants to go fix things which is what Astro Droids do. Um but I, I love him. He's fantastic. I'd love to have my own. That and a K9, you know, can you imagine R2 and K9 getting on together? I don't think they actually would get on together, I think they'd get on each other's tits, but that's just me. <laughs> so yeah, R2-D2 is my favourite droid. Favourite creature? Ooh. Mm. 
Yeah, that's another, that's another difficult one. I mean, I suppose the obvious ones would be either Jabba the Hutt, or uh, the Rancor, or the Sarlacc. Uh, I don't know, there's not many ones that I, I really... No. Ah, what am I talking about? He's a creature, yes, but he's also a character, a much beloved character. Chewie! The Wookiees! Yeah, you know, another one, I absolutely adored him, you know, he was... He, pretty much, I saw... I sort of subconsciously, I sort of base myself on Chewie, apart from the fact that he's a lot taller than I am. But a lot taller. And a lot thinner. But he's still got this cuddly nature, even though you don't screw with a Wookiee. You know, let the Wookiee win. That's, that's you know, that's, that's a good lesson in life. And I, I, just, I love him. Anything, and I can, hang on. <clears throat> I can do this as well. You can tell this is my favourite creature because this is the one noise I've really practised on, so... <clears throat> This is my recitation of Chewbacca from Star Wars. A heck of. A heck of. My Darth Vader impersonation. With respect, you will not hear it from me. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you invented. The ability to gather subscribers on YouTube is insignificant next to the power of being a panda. I thank you. So there we go, Star Wars Tag. I challenge the following people to join me in this. I challenge Hannah Wollaston. I challenge Jimmy Smith. I challenge, I challenge you. Yeah, that's so like picking people out, but that's because I'm sadistic. And I challenge you, and I challenge everybody, join me, Star Wars here, do the Star Wars tag, let's get this going again, because it's the best time. Uh, Philip Hodge kiss, uh, Dan Clayton, come on man, you've got to join me in this somewhere down the line. Uh, Lizette, everybody, just someone get in front of your cameras and do this, this is brilliant. I'm going to put all the questions below in the comment box as well. Do this, this is, a, this is a fantastic one, do video responses, anything, please, please do this. And I will see you again very soon this week for the second video of Star Wars Year Week 2. Whew.